Hi everybody, this is Justin from Synctivate and I wanted to go ahead and create a video today to show you how to get your data into your QuickBase application after your application has been built and show you how to relate data that you're going to be importing into multiple tables. So I've downloaded the complete contact manager from the QuickBase Exchange just to use in this example. I went ahead and cleared out all of the, cut, the sample data out of the system. And we're going to go through a process of importing companies and then using that data that we've imported on those companies to import in the contacts for those companies and have those contacts sync up to their uh, related company. So kind of gearing this video towards, you know, anyone that just needs to get data in the system and isn't necessarily familiar with doing like VLOOKUPs in Excel. And I'm going to explain a little bit of how QuickBase architecture works. So first thing before we actually go into the data, let's go ahead and let's look at the, uh, the relationship diagram on this application. So to do that, you'd go and you'd click on the settings in the top left and then go into app management. And then you can click on this option right here for show relationship diagram. So if you look at this relationship diagram here, you'll see that companies can have many contacts. And you can tell that it's set up like this. QuickBase is a one-to-many relationship system. Uh, you can tell it's set up where companies can have, one, can have many by the way that the arrow direction is pointing right here. So same, a company can relate to multiple different contacts. In our scenario here of what we're doing, we're just going to relate one contact to one company, but you'll get the gist of it. Now, taking this a little step further, when QuickBase, when a table is built in QuickBase, the first record that's added into that system, so like if I were to just go and click new company right here, that record is going to have a record ID. The record ID is known as the key field. Now you can change key fields in QuickBase, but we're not going to necessarily get into that. We're just going to stick to what the default uh, setup is. When you create your first company, that record ID will be one. The second one will be two. And that number will just count up each time you create a new record in the system. This does it because that's effectively creating a unique value that that record is associated with. You could effectively have, you know, two Googles uh, in, in your company's table here, but each one of those Googles would have a separate record ID uniquely identifying them. And that's really going to come into play here when we're importing data in the system and syncing that data up. So I went ahead before this video and created a, uh, an example file where I grabbed some data out of. In this example file that I'm showing you here, we've got our companies. We've got 46 of them. We have the company phone number and the company website. Again, don't worry about the differences in the names here. This is just mock data. And then we also have the first name, last name, title, phone number, mobile phone, and email of the specific contact at that company. Now, the first process of importing in the companies is very straightforward. You can do this by importing, by pushing in the file, or you can just go in and actually copy the data. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the first three columns of this, because that pertains specifically to the company. Let's go back and click, it, click into QuickBase. And when you're on that table, I'm on the company's table now, I'm gonna go ahead and click More import export since I copied it from the Excel file I'm going to click import into a table from the clipboard and as you can see it's saying the merge field is record ID that would be that in this case we're importing brand new data into the system but this also allows you to import data and update data in there if you provide the key fields so I'm going to go ahead and paste that data into the system. I'm going to hit import. And now on this screen, QuickBase is asking me a few different questions. So the first one is, 
is the first row field names. If I uncheck this, you'll see company name, phone, and website pop up because I did copy that out of the Excel file. So yes, in this case, the first row is field names. We don't want to create a record that says company name, phone, and website. So we'll go ahead and leave that selected. Now, you can match up the columns. If these columns, when you import in, QuickBase tries to guess what the column of data, which field it will go into. Sometimes it gets it perfect. Sometimes you got to make tweaks. In this case, uh, it's already got the company name selected for this column. It's got the phone number selected, and then it's got the website selected. So this is good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit import. And now, as you can see, it's imported in 45 records into the system. So we'll go ahead and click on the companies table here, and we can see all of these companies have been added in. Now, the next step is to get the contacts in and have them associated with the, the company that the that contact is associated with. So, in this case, we have to actually build a little bit of report to help us out doing this with our Excel matching. What we need to do is we need to grab the company name and then we also need to get the record ID. So to do this, I'm going to click on Reports and Charts, New, it's going to be a table report. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I'm going to select Custom Columns, Company Name, and then I also need the record ID number. You don't have to save this report, you can if you'd like, but in this case I'm just going to hit display here. And we can now see each one of these company names with the record ID over on the right hand side. Now one disclaimer I want to put out there. When I imported this data in the system, I ensured that all of my company names were unique. This can get a little bit tricky if you have different uh, similar or the same company names in here multiple times. You may have to use some other piece of criteria for the matching, but in this case, we're just going to use company name. So now that I've created this report, I'm going to go over here on the right hand side and click more and then save as a spreadsheet. That's going to give me a spreadsheet of all the company names with their record IDs. And then my other file is open back here with the rest of the data. I'm going to go ahead and copy these two columns. I'm going to jump back over to my other file and add a sheet and drop that data in that I copied from the other file. The other file can be closed now because you don't really need it. So now in my file with all of the data, I'm going to go back to the main sheet and in a column over here on the, the right hand side, the last column, I'm going to write a little formula. And the formula is going to be equals VLOOKUP then you are going to select the column you want to match. In this case, I'm using company name. You're going to put a comma. You're then going to click on the other sheet that has the record IDs that we pulled over. You're going to hold down shift and select both columns here. Add a comma. You want to match the field you're going to want is going to be this second column here, if you have your record ID in the second column, otherwise it would be the first, but in this column, in my case, it's the second column, so I'm going to put a two in the formula, another comma, and then I want it to be exact match, so I'm going to type in false here, and then put a closing parentheses and hit enter. So now you'll see this company it has pulled over record ID one from the other table. So if we go to the other tab and go down to Mudo, you'll see one is its record ID that's pulling over, it's matching. So we've got that for the first cell. Now all you have to do is click to the bottom right of that cell and just drag it down. And you've got all the record IDs established for, for the companies that relate to these contacts. Notice how this one down here says NA. That's because if you look over to the left-hand side, I don't have a company in this field here. If, let's say, this person did actually work at this link type, 
and I typed in link type there, you will now see that update to 45. So now that we have that data, I want to get the contact information into the system. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the first name column all the way over to this last column here of the company record IDs. I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to go back into QuickBase. I'm going to click on the contacts. And as you can see, we currently do not have any. I'm going to select more, import export from clipboard. I'm going to paste this data into the system, import data, and then look through and ensure that the columns are matched up correctly. So yes, this is first name, last name, title, phone. This is not address, so this is a good example. We're going to go ahead and select mobile. And then this is email. And then this is the biggest key right here. Luckily, it selected the correct field that I'd want. But in this case, you're going to want this to sync up, not to record ID, because this has nothing to do with the contact record ID. It has to do with the relationship that it has to the company, to the other table. So that field is called related company. That's what we're going to want to import the record ID from the company into. So we go ahead and select that and hit import. That now imported 46 contacts into the system. If we click on the contacts table, you will see that your contacts are in here along with the company that they are associated with. If you open up one of these contacts and then click on its company name, you will see that that contact is listed under this company here. The last company that we imported into the system was the, the link type. So let's go ahead and pull that up. And if you notice, based on the import that we just did, this is the only one with two contacts. So that's a quick way to get your data into the system when it's coming, it's going into multiple different tables and to relate it together. You can use this in many different formats other than just importing data in. You can use it to update data in certain cases and it is a huge time saver. Thanks for checking out this video. If you have any questions from us, just shoot us an email at contact at syncdebate.com and check us out and look for uh, more videos in the future. Have a good one.